Let's begin with our today's exercise. You are going to open your page number 41, measuring a period of time and refer the textbook and see the questions given in the textbook and also open your match notebook to solve the statement sums given here. Now the first question here, on the, fa on the in the book you are going to write page number 45. Page number 45, measuring a period of time, write question 1, solve the following problems. And the first question is, in a certain year, the Ganesh festival started on the 9th of September and ended on the 18th September. For how many days was the festival celebrated? Now, we will write the statement, Ganesh festival started on 9th September. Ganesh festival ended on 18th September. Okay. You will write down this statement. After writing this statement, now to find the number of celebration days, let us count days from 9 to 18 by drawing dots. This is how you are going to draw the dots. We are going to draw 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. After 18, we will draw the dots. Okay, now count it. The festival was celebrated for how many days? 10 days. If you count the dots, we get the answer 10 days. Now let us do the second sum. Children, instead of writing the second question, we are going to write question number 3. Now, why we are writing question number 3? Because the first question and the second question, it is of same type or same pattern. That is why we are doing the first and third and then we will do the second and fourth. Okay. Now, the third question is, a school trip was from 5th of December to the 10th of December. How many days was it? Now, we will write down a statement. The school trip started on? 5th December. The school trip ended on 10th December. After writing this, now we will count the, num to find the number of days of the trip, we will count the days from 5th to 10th by putting the dots and writing the dates. That is, we will put 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. If you count, there are how many dots? 6 dot. So, the answer is, the school trip was for 6 days. Now we will do write question number 2. Seema reached the hometown for Dipavali on the 12th of November and stayed there till the 1st of December. How many days did she spend there? Again we will write down statement first here. Seema reached hometown 12th November. Now, I gave you, yesterday I had given you one table. In that, if you see, November has 30 days. That means from after 11th December, after 11th November to 30th November, there are 30 minus 11, that is 19 days. Seema reached hometown on 12th. So, we are going to minus 30 minus 11, we will get 19 days. So, there are 30 minus 11, there is 19 days. Seema stayed there till 1st December. That means one day of December. So, we will have to add 19 plus 1. That will be 20 days. She Sima spent 20 days. Okay. Now, let us do the fourth sum. Sham Rao had delivered he, to, uh, delivered milk to his home from the 5th of November to the 5th of December. Okay. How many days was milk delivered? A milk delivered from 5th November and in November there are 30 days. How many days are there in November? 
30 days that means we have to count from 4th so 4th November to 30th November if you minus 30 minus 4 we get 26 days and 5 days he, and he gave up to December 5th that means 5 days of December month so the, the milk was delivered for 26 plus 5 that is 31 days children this all 4 sums you have to do in your math notebook Children, now see your page number 46, the leap year. The leap year means the year in which we have in February 29 days. How many days? In February 29 days. In the leap year, we have 366 days. Other all days, we have 365 days. But when we have a leap year, that day we have in February 29 days. And the number of days in that year is 366. And this number, how we come to know whether it is a leap year or not? When we divide the number by 4. And after dividing by 4, when you get the answer 0, that means that year is a leap year. You have to divide the year 2016, 2018, divide it by 4. And after dividing, if you get the remainder 0, that means that is a leap year. Okay. Also, we come to know leap year by if February is having 29 days. That means that is a leap year. Now children for this you have fill in the blanks over here. So let's write down this fill in the blanks. The first question is fill in the blanks. A leap year has dash days. The answer will be 366 days. Second one. In a leap year the month of February has dash days. The answer will be 29 days. Number three. If the number denoting a year is divisible by dash, then that year is called a leap year. The answer will be 4. Now the fourth fill in the blank. Century. Century means 100. Number 5. A century year is a leap year. If the number is divisible by dash, if the number is divisible by 400. Children, even this you have to do in your math notebook. Thank you. Let's begin with our today's exercise. You are going to open your page number 41, measuring a period of time. And refer the textbook and see the questions given in the textbook. And also open your math notebook to solve the statement sums given here. Now the first question here on the on the in the book you are going to write page number 45. Page number 45, measuring a period of time. Write question 1, solve the following problems. And the first question is in a certain year, the Ganesh festival started on the 9th of September and ended on the 18th September. For how many days was the festival celebrated? Now we will write the statement. Ganesh festival started on 9th September. Ganesh festival ended on 18th September. Okay. You will write down this statement. After writing this statement, now to find the number of celebration days, let us count days from 9 to 18 by drawing dots. This is how we are going to draw the dots. We are going to draw 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. After 18, we will draw the dots. Okay. Now count it. The festival was celebrated for how many days? 10 days. If you count the dots, we get the answer 10 days. Now let's do the second sum. Children, instead of writing the second question, we are going to write question number 3. Now why we are writing question number 3? Because the first question and the second question, it is of same type or same pattern. That is why we are doing the first and third 
and then we'll do the second and fourth okay now the third question is a school trip was from 5th of december to the 10th of december how many days was it now we'll write down a statement the school trip started on 5th december the school trip ended on 10th december after writing this now we'll count the num to find the number of days of the trip we'll count the days from 5th to 10th by putting the dots and writing the dates that is we'll put 5th 6th 7th 8th 9th and 10th if you count there are how many dots six dot so the answer is the school trip was for six days now we'll do right question number 2 seema reached the hometown for dipavali on the 12th of november and stayed there till the 1st of december how many days did she spend there again we'll write down statement first here seema reached hometown 12th november now i gave you yesterday i had given you one table in that if you see november has 30 days that means from after 11th december after 11th november to 30th november there are 30 minus 11 that is 19 days seema reached hometown on 12th So we are going to minus thirty minus eleven. We'll get nineteen days. So there are thirty minus eleven. There is nineteen days. Seema stayed there till first December. That means one day of December. So we'll have to add nineteen plus one. that will be 20 days she seema spent 20 days okay now let's do the fourth sum shamrao had delivered to uh, delivered milk to his home from the 5th of november to the 5th of december okay how many days was milk delivered now milk delivered from 5th november and in november there are 30 days how many days are there in november 30 days that means we have to count from 4th so 4th november to 30th november if you minus 30 minus 4 we get 26 days and 5 days he, and he gave up to december 5th that means 5 days of december month so the, the milk was delivered for 26 plus 5 that is 31 days children this all four sums you have to do in your math notebook children now see your page number 46 the leap year the leap year means the year in which we have in february 29 days how many days in february 29 days in the leap year we have 366 days other all days we have 365 days but when we have a leap year that day uh, we have in february 29 days and the number of days in that year is 366 and this number how we come to know whether it is a leap year or not when we divide the number by 4 and after dividing by 4 when we get the answer zero that means that year is a leap year you have to divide the year 2016 2018 divide it by 4 and after dividing if you get the remainder zero that means that is a leap year okay also we come to know leap year by if february is having 29 days that means that is a leap year now children for this you have fill in the blanks over here so let's write down this fill in the blanks the first question is fill in the blanks a leap year has dash days the answer will be 366 days second one in a leap year the month of february has dash days the answer will be 29 days number 3 if the number denoting a year is divisible by dash then that year is called a leap year the answer will be 
four. Now the fourth fill in the blank. Century. Century means hundred. Number five. A century year is a leap year if the number is divisible by dash. If the number is divisible by four hundred. Children, even this you have to do in your math notebook. Thank you.